Many of the major roadways shut down tonight with drivers still on them. First responders of any kind springing into action tonight. These members of Border Patrol digging out cars that had been trapped on the 400 for about 16 hours. But there are still more, especially on the thruway tonight. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse on the story. You can actually see the empty thruway behind me. I'm standing on what would be the on ramp onto the thruway from the 33. Just a few miles away, many drivers have been stranded, some for more than 12 hours. State police have been working throughout the day to free them, but it's been no easy task. It might look like cars parked on a side street, but these photos were actually taken by drivers on the 90, stuck with no place to go. Just before the 400. There were so many cars, it was like a parking lot up here, so we had to stop. You can't even see like 10 feet in front of you. Around 140 miles of the thruway was closed from Henrietta to the Pennsylvania line, but not before dozens of cars and drivers got slammed by the snow. Among them, the Niagara University women's basketball team. They were on their way back from a game in Pittsburgh and got stuck about two miles from the Lackawanna Tolls. We're completely snowed in. I mean, there's four foot of snow on the, on the bus. We're running on water, so we've been taking cups and putting, you know, uh, getting snow in them and letting them melt. Our main concern right now is the uh, the public and the people out there. We are trying to reach every single one of them. State police say they're now working to clear the eastbound lane of the thruway to give drivers a way to get off once they're freed from the snow. Weather has not cooperated with us. Every time we do clear something, it does clog back up again, and the snow band isn't letting up. Now troopers will be working throughout the night to get all. All of those stranded drivers off of the thruway. Trooper Morales tells me their number one goal is to not have anyone spend the overnight on the 90. In Chictawaga, Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.